Hello again YouTube. This is a board. You probably recognize it if you have any exp like time on the, in the makerspace. I suppose this is an ESP32 which is used extensively in wireless projects and Internet of Things where you can connect to the Wi-Fi in your home and do various functionality. Now the Cinnamon Bond I've been introducing that I've never actually done a uh, I've done projects on, on this channel on NXP devices and the one Bitsy, which I think is an STM32, is it? It's an ARM-based uh, Cortex anyway. The, this, I've never done the ESP32, but there's so much stuff out there that it, it, it doesn't really need me. Now, one of the reasons why this ESP32 is so popular is because there's so many resources out there on the internet. Uh, this book, for example, I'm recording this in March of... 2018 and this book says it was completed on the second of this month what actually seems to be happening is is this the author neil colbin seems to update it constantly so whenever something's added most technical books go out of date very quickly this one seems to be kept up to date and it goes through all the libraries of code and that that's one of the important things about this esp32 it's not just a lump of hardware it's a lump of hardware with an extensive library of code that you can pull into your project to make whatever it is you want um, the same is true of the arduino the arduino has libraries of code which um it's if, if you had to write everything thing from scratch it would be quite a cumbersome task but because the libraries of code for there like i mean if you wanted to add a real-time clock to the arduino you'd probably find there's a library there for various devices then pick a, a pick a real-time clock that's already got code for it a driver for it so in the same way the, the, the cinnamon bone has this libby soup which uh is a library of code now it's a work in progress as you can see there's a bit of activity there as as i find as I solve problems and find holes, uh, then I update this library and, and I'm constantly adding to it and fixing problems and changing the architecture as you find things that aren't the way you like, you, you want them to be. So I just want to show you how to, how to use that. A lot of my videos in, in the future are going to be using this library of code and some of the features that are in, built into the library of code. So we don't want to be writing code all the time. There's a library there to use it. So I'm going to just get clone that library. And if I go into it, there's an examples directory which has a lot of main examples of mains using various features of the the library so one of the first things we'll probably do in in future is look at hardware timers and the api calls to that uh, in, as well in, in this examples directory there's a projects directory now sorry at the minute there's only a, a microchip directory in there because i don't really see at some point in time in the future I, I might start working on a different piece of hardware and start adding projects for whatever but at the minute i'm just i'm just messing about with this there have done a few couple of different processors so there is some code in this which is for a pic 18 we'll come to that and there's a pic 24 as well but for the minute i want to concentrate on this iteration of the cinnamon bone which is a ds pic 33 so there's no project in here which is just the bare bones project so I actually want to create uh, a bare bones project for this um, library. And uh, in the same way, the examples folder has loads of mains for various, uh, to show you how to use various parts of the library, but it hasn't got a, a bare bones main. So let's just create that and a project to use that and show the very basics of a project so if we go to new project standalone project i'm sure this is getting quite old hat for people so the ds pick 33 we're going to use a pick kit 3 
I'll just use the version of XC16. I must remember to look at the latest. And let's stick this project down in down in the depths of that library as another project. So we'll just call it bare bones and in camel case. And that's our project. So if we add all that library of code, if we add that library of code to our project, there's a lot of stuff we don't need. So there's all the comms protocols documentation sorry firmware gpio we will get to these we need the processors because we have to initialize a processor for the device that we're building for so if we remove all those from the project And in examples, we just want those that bare bones main file. The other mains will clash when we try and build. The, the, there'll be umpteen definitions, and we can remove the projects directory. Why is that offering to, to rename? So there we have our our bare bones main. Now the one thing that the, the, the main has to do, well, the one thing to, to use this library of code, the library of code expects there to be a file called lib esupconfig.h. Now. Once you have that library of code included, the library of code that configuration file. If you've ever built the Linux kernel, the Linux kernel has a dot config file. The Linux kernel has thousands of options, configuration options, with all the different devices it's it's it can be programmed for, and with all the different hardware options there are. So the Linux kernel, with its thousands of options, has an actual NCurses graphical interface to actually setting up the, the various configuration options we just have a configuration file that you have to write manually we'll get to that now most of the apis in this api functions in libe soup use a result type sorry result underscore t type now that is it's basically a, a, an in 16 a 16 bit signed value and generally in the same way as a Linux kernel, if, if, a, if a function returns a negative number, that's an error. So zero or a positive number and everything was okay, a negative number is an error. And once you have that, all you've got to do is initialize that, initialize the actual library. And that's our code. Now that this initialization function looks at this header file and the configuration and performs the, the initialization required given your configuration. So we need that header file. So if I touch that in So that's the, the configuration file, and if we open it, we 
what this file has to do is include xc.h which is for the hardware the microchip include and then it has to define the switches now we'll only use one at the minute sorry which is the clock frequency we want to use so we could put in 8 megahertz the actual board on the actual hardware the cinnamon bone has a 16 megahertz crystal but with a phase lock loop you can actually change this and on initialization when you initialize libby soup it'll just look at the, the clock frequency you want to use and, and set the clock frequency to that so The other thing we need to do is that specify the board that now we need to change the the path where it's pulling where GCC is pulling. I keep saying GCC. I assume this is actually built on GCC, but divided a, a 1000 licensing fee. I want to add no, sorry, that directory so it gets Libby soup. better add a dot just in case so that it can find my lib config so I want to add I want to add the board file for the board I'm building this for and this is cinnamon bone it's my dspic32 I'm pick dspic33 sorry and that is a bare bones project with a few warnings this is Where is it getting? Where is it getting the clock frequency? Oh, sorry. Just select one. <laughs> we'll go with 60 megahertz. No wonder I'm confused. Right. And that's it. That's basically a bare bones project, which is going to do nothing. But it, it, it has a configuration file which sets the various options that we want to use. And initializes the library. Now, as I said, that if, if that return code is less than zero, that's an error condition so we'll deal with that in, in the fullness of time but th that's basically the library the library is in a state of flux as I say once I fix things realize there's a hole in the functionality it's it gets added to so now we've added a, a new example main file and a project to go with it so we can add those
and push those back to the library and that's that's the library of code that's the if we look in examples there's our bare bones which doesn't do a lot but that's all my later videos are going to use build on the functionality that's included in this library of code to make developing for the cinnamon bun much easier and we'll just go through the various things as, as and when we get, we get to them thanks a million for watching and i'll see you again soon